Hello Uniplot community. In our previous video, we talked about merging our data files. But what happens if they are not synchronized? Today we will review all the synchronization tools available in Uniplot, the user interface, using cursors, and finally, how it works behind the scene. For an intuitive usage, Uniplot comes with a graphical synchronization interface. I will show you using the file we used last time for the previous video. So I have some GPS data. I will plot the speed versus time. So this is the speed of the G recorded by the GPS. Now let's see what was recorded from the engine control unit and plot it against that. I will take the time and the speed. If I plot that, Okay, you can see that there is some offset here. Let's leave it aside for the moment. I'll go to File, More File Function, and select Synchronize Data File. Here, I have my interface for file synchronization. I will import my first, first file. So the GPS one as a reference. I will select the time channel and the synchronization channel, which will be the speed. Then I will import my control unit file, select the time and the speed again. We can see the offset. Now Uniplot, using some algorithm I will discuss at the end, is able to compute automatically the time delay between both channels. Here I will ask to plot the synchronized curve just to check everything is all right. And it's fine. I can decide also to merge all the result into one file and also to interpolate the time base, which can be a good thing. So this is what I will do. I will click on OK. And I will choose the time from the GPS. And I will click on OK. And now both files have been synchronized with a new time, which is time GPS zero. And now let's try to plot that. I will take my new time channel and the GPS speed. I will load it here. And now let's take the speed from the ECU and load it. And I have my both information properly synchronized. That's how to use the synchronization interface. Other possibility, you might want to do the synchronization after creating the template directly using the curves from the diagrams as we have here. Please note that it does not affect the NC2, only the information in the template or the data set. To do so, you select the curve to be moved and activate the cursor. So I activate the blue curve and I put the cursors. I will zoom in the area where the delay can be easily seen. So let's go here. And I will place the cursor properly so that they reflect the delay. So here we can see the slope and I will take this. And the delay, it's 20 seconds, so exactly as we found earlier with the tool. Once you're ready, you right click on the curve to be moved. You go to cursor and move data set. We have the 20 seconds of the delay. And you can decide to apply the delay to all data set with the same data source or not. In that case, I will unselect it. And you click on OK. And you can see that the curve has been moved and the information is stored in the X offset. Another option, if you need to proceed to file synchronization in your script, is to use NC Synchronize Time. In the documentation, you will find everything you need to know about the function and the parameters. But basically, the function parameters are all the field we used in the graphical interface. You can also easily use this function in parallel with the sequencer to improve your data import workflow. If you want to know how all this works, a last piece of information. 
Synchronization in Uniplot is based on the getDelayTime function, this one. It takes as an input the time and synchronization channel of both files to be synchronized. It uses the cross-correlation FFT function, as in fast Fourier transform, this function, which does the time domain cross-correlation of the signals in the frequency domain. This is done by computing the inverse FFT of the dot product of the FFT of both signals. The index of the maximum value of the output is the delay of your signals. This is much faster than a time domain cross correlation. And now let's see for our example with the speed. So this is the cross correlation result. And here we have the maximum value. If this is after the half of the number of the points of the cross correlation, you take the distance from the maximum to the end. And in this case, Let's look at this. I put the cursors. And what do we find? Okay, maybe not exactly. I have to find it. 27. Okay, now you know everything about file synchronization and uniplots. Thanks for watching us. For any question, contact us at support at uniplot.com. Do not hesitate to check our website www.uniplot.com and click on the logo to follow us on LinkedIn and get fresh news of Uniplot.